These boots are for. Mm. All right, so we met up with another Jeeper. We got some people here. us if we didn't mind a little mud we could park in the swamp. And here we are at the Cross Fork Snake Hunt. Let's go take a look around. Pip. Sure. 
Timber. Now, timber rattlesnakes are do have a rattle. So, number one, you see the rattle. They're a bigger, heavier-bodied snake than your copperhead or most any other snake we have. It all depends on what stage your life you're looking to. A, a small snake's a small snake. Um, but fat head on them. You know that diamond-shaped head. Kind of looks like a spade shovel on that rattlesnake or copperhead. You're going to see. Those little bulges on either side of their jaw are the venom sacs, the venom glands that they have, that house the venom. The bands that go straight across, timber rattlesnake, it looks kind of like bark on a tree. Um, another thing, I got to hit it with fingernail polish here at the end to tell what snake it is. But on a timber rattlesnake, their nickname is always a velvet tail rattlesnake. At the very end of the tail, the vegetable tail at the base of the rattle is always solid black. Doesn't matter if it's a yellow or a black face Here's a nice, really nice looking black face What's that you're doing now, too? Some of these go-go. Same thing. Same kind of markings. Same thing in the skin. It's the same thing right here. Between the fingers. Solid black. No markings. Look around. I mean, it's just... Well, ladies and gents, that's a wrap-up for the Crosswork snake hunt. We're heading back to the Jeep and we'll fight Trav. <laughs> Beers in hand, let's go for another Jeep ride. <laughs>